Hey guys, I wanted to update you about our new puppies that we just got. It's um, a bit of a one winter wonderland out here. We got a lot of snow recently, so that definitely adds quite a bit of excitement for the puppies and it's definitely going to keep them entertained. So I was going to take you on my walk with them. Okay, so this is Zoe and Jordy. And this is their first time in the snow. The gold puppy is Zoe and the chocolate puppy is Jordy. They're both girls and they're almost three months old. And there are new puppies that we're going to be breeding with when they're older. So for the last month, we've been house training them. They're actually very smart and they pick up on things that we show them very fast. They've had very few accidents in the house and they're so much fun to hang out with. We have a large space set up for them in the house with a divider so that it's just their space. And we puppy proofed it so there's nothing that they could accidentally damage in there. Um, and then we've littered the floor with balls and bones. This puppy space is also a safe space because puppies are like babies and they need a space they can play where they won't hurt themselves or get into any trouble. This also means that we can have a bit of a break and don't have to have our eyes on them 24-7. So these are the chuck it balls we like to use because they're really durable, they're rubber, and our dogs can't, or at least they haven't been able to chew through them yet. So we like these the best. Um, we found with other kinds of balls, like tennis balls, they'll just end up in pieces all over the floor. Or worse, your dog will eat the pieces, which to say the least is not very healthy for them. So we really like these and we have them scattered all over the floor in the puppy space. And then these are the bones we like to use. They're really big. Um, you can kind of see in comparison to my hand, they're huge. And um, they're smoked natural bones. Um, we get them from a nearby farm, so they're local. And we love them because they're really big, so they keep the dogs and the puppies occupied for a really long time. So all of our dogs, even in the kennel or in the house, have these balls and bones as their um, primary toys. Um, we also prefer the balls and the bones because they're very easy for a dog to differentiate a ball and a bone from your couch or your pillows or your blankets. Uh, we find with a lot of the stuffed toys, they're too similar to, you know, your couch cushions or your blankets and it can get the dog to think that they can chew those things as well. So we like things that are specifically balls and bones and those are the best ones we found. So then we have our two older dogs here too, Carly and Carrie. Then there's our other dogs in the kennel. You can see some of them there. That's Rory and Finn. Um, I don't know if you can really tell from here, but Finn is the puppy we brought home in the summer and he definitely doesn't look like a puppy and we let them out for runs frequently throughout the day so they have lots of space to run around we have three acres now fenced in around our house so they have all that space to run around in frequently throughout the day you know to stretch their legs and burn some energy so the other thing about our new puppies is that they're real retriever dogs um, you can already see their retriever instincts 
Jordy will grab a ball and run around the house in circles for quite a while. It's dodging all the other dogs that try to take it from her. And Zoe will run for the ball to fetch it every time. And they're just real sweethearts. I've been really happy with their temperaments. They have very high puppy energy, but that's pretty much the case with any puppy. Um, but they're also very intelligent and perceptive and they get it when you tell them that something is right or wrong pretty much immediately. Um, and they pick up on our routine and, or our schedule really quickly. Um, so I've had a really fun time raising them and they've just been really easy to get along with. I really have no complaints. Where'd everybody go? There's Zoe. So that's what we've been up to. And um, coming up, I'm gonna be updating you guys shortly about uh, how the puppies are doing that we brought home last summer. Uh, it's only been a few months and they've already grown a lot. Um, they're some of our biggest dogs now. And um, yeah, so I'll keep you posted on that. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you soon.